ready to go in egg around Poe's house? Deliveries. My feet too dirty? Yeah. Oh, no, no, you're fine. And was it both houses or just wow. this? Um, well, actually, this would have been two um, separate residences. So where Poe actually lived is around the corner to the left and back. This would have been his next door neighbor's home. Basically everything that's on this side of the wall. Mm -hmm. So right around here, I'll have an overview of how, how it would have looked in the 1840s. This is so cool. So the picture right here, this... Um, this is a recent artist's uh, rendering of how it would have looked. And right where Poe is standing next to his wife in the picture, the doorway behind them is actually this entranceway right here. So yeah, so this would have been, where we're standing right now would have been the front yard. I still don't want to get the floor here. dirty. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. This is, where we this are right now would have been the front yard. So this was, after he left, this was built on to essentially make it a much larger structure overall, just a few years after he left. So. Well, when did he actually live here? Uh, early 1840s, 18, it was, um, it was only in this house for about a year, 1843 to 1844. Now in Philadelphia, he was in this city for six years overall. So he, uh, basically rental houses, a lot of them. Am I allowed back uh, here? Walk oh, yeah, yeah. Um, like around where the historic district is, around where Independence Hall is today. So you might have rooms. Yeah, exactly. So you can take this with you. This will give you an idea of how the rooms throughout the house were used. Right now you're in the uh, parlor. Right. The reason why that's a must-see is because it does um, have relevance to a story Poe wrote long here, The Black Cat. Yes. Which is a story about a man who I know the cat. his wife and then mm -hmm. he tries to cover up his crime by hiding the corpse in the cellar. So when you're in there, you'll want to look for the ideal place to, uh, to hide a corpse. Wow. Mm. You sure there's not a corpse in here? <laughs> it looks like one. Looks like my mom's basement, actually. This is a must-see. This is a must-see. This is must. Where's the, there's the cat. Wow. I'm petting Edgar Allan Poe's black cat. Here, hold this camera so people can see my body. How you doing? So, right, I'm in a basement of Edgar Allan Poe's neighbor's house. Post no, this was his house. This was Edgar Allan Poe's house? Yeah. It feels like I'm home. Like my mom's basement, Gillespie and Princeton, don't it? Yeah. This is awesome. Look, this is look, my look. You don't even know. This is beautiful. Now, now was not worth the stop. I like looking out the window because I like looking at what he saw. He didn't see me. Hmm. Seen the city. What madness! The madness that ran through this house and they had the stories. I read, read his books all the time. Like Edgar.